an intelligence report by Microsoft, offers five cybersecurity conclusions from the ongoing war in Ukraine. Smith said the lessons from the war in Ukraine demand a comprehensive and coordinated strategy. Ventress Gibson, former deputy director of the U.S. Mint, became the first African-American and the seventh woman to become the agency's director. President Biden nominated Anjali Chaturvedi, formerly head of the Global Investigations Team at Northrop Grumman, to serve as general counsel for the Department of Veterans Affairs. Longtime MITRE team member Beth Minard has been elevated to the role of general manager of the not-for-profit company's public sector arm. The Senate confirmed U.S. Army Major General Ross Kaufman, director of the service's next generation, combat vehicle cross, functional team, to serve as deputy commander of Army Futures Command. The U.S. has allocated $14 million to fund a study in support of its development of a small modular reactor power plant in Romania to advance clean energy innovation. The FCC has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Institute of Museum and Library Services to collaborate on expanding public awareness of federal broadband funding programs. President Biden has nominated U.S. Air Force Major General Donna Shipton, Deputy Director of the National Reconnaissance Office, to serve as military deputy to the Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for acquisition, technology, and logistics. Join GovkinWire's events Innovative and Emerging Technologies Forum on July 20, 2022. Visit govconwire.com slash events. Unmanned Technologies Manufacturer, Edge Autonomy, has entered an agreement with the U.S. Army to construct and provide unmanned aerial vehicles. The Department of Health and Human Services has announced 13 programs for inclusion in President Biden's Justice 40 initiative.